So uh, my mum's from France, dad's from Zimbabwe, and then somehow in the mix I was born in Australia. Uh, raised by a French mother, and that is why I chose to represent France today. So growing up in Australia, sport is, is huge in their culture. Um, so I did plenty of other sports. I did football uh, or soccer, as some would say. Uh, basketball, ice hockey, figure skating, uh, swimming, well, horse riding as well. So I've done a, a fair couple of other sports and I chose to, to do athletics because uh, that's the one I feel like I can excel the most in. Um, I feel like it's special to me because growing up watching the Olympics, uh, my favorite thing to watch was track and field. So every time I step on the track or, or re-watch a race or watch anything that's uh, anything athletic related, I get something that I used to get, an emotion that I used to get when I was a child. So it just brings back all those emotions that I, I don't get as much anymore because now I'm doing it instead of watching it. Um, but as soon as I'm on the track and I'm racing and the commentator is saying my name and the public's behind me, then it just brings all those emotions back and it's an incredible feeling. My mother was my first trainer and um, we chose to, to do the hurdles as because as, it was a more technical event that I like to do and it's the event that she loves the most out of, out of all the track and field events. So representing my mum, representing her country and my country and her favourite event. So I'm doing all the things that my mum loves and shouts to mum as well. <laughs> Taking away the gold at the Europeans, uh, my first international medal. Great feeling, great feeling absolutely, um, but now I need to take on the world stage, um, a whole different group of athletes and it's going to be a bit more challenging, um, but I'm looking forward to it 100% and I'm hoping I can come here and do the things I'm hoping to do. Uh, all the pressure that I have is good pressure, people that are hoping the best for me, um, awaiting the best from me, um, they make me do better things in my training and in competition. There's a lot of fault that can happen during the race and with the 110s you can be the favourite, um, but there's 10 barriers to pass before you can declare yourself as a champion. So every, it's open for everyone in the final. Um, so it's just about staying relaxed, focusing on your technique and getting over each 10 barriers. And then it's a crazy feeling once you pass that last one, knowing that you're in the lead and knowing that you can have more speed to kick off and, and dip on the line. And then as soon as you've got that dip, if you know what position you are, it's a crazy feeling. But the best feeling is when you don't know because the, because the race is so close and you've got to wait and see. And that's a whole different amount of motion. And then, it's all, all excitement from there. Devon Robles, he's my favorite hurdler from Cuba. Ladji de Cuba as well, who's also my coach, but I can't say he's my favorite hurdler because he's my coach and we've got to keep it at the same level. <laughs> Being back on not the same country, but the same continent, um, breathing the same air, feeling the same soil, it gives me a feeling that I had when I was younger. And look, it's, it's good to be here and I'm very, very happy because African is, is a huge part of my culture.